Hello everyone, what's happening? This is Forgo, and today we have Sneak Peek 8. And it's very exciting news, but I'm not that excited, and I'm going to tell you guys why in a little bit. Greetings, agents. This is C and Fragment of Marvel Future Fight. Following Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan, and Iceman, we are now ready to introduce the third spectacular hero uniform of this update. After riding the winds across the globe, she finally makes landfall in Marvel Future Fight with a brand new uniform. It's time for Storm to unleash her fury with the awakening of her Tier 3 power. So it is confirmed she is getting her Tier 3. Looks like all that data mine information was correct. And if all that information is correct, especially about the all defense downs that she's going to have, she is going to be an absolute monster and world boss, especially where all defense downs will apply, which is pretty much all the world bosses except for Thanos. So it's going to be really, really interesting to see if all those effects are true. Now let's take a look at old girl. And you can see here she does have the mohawk look. She's got the white uniform. I'm loving the white uniform. I'm not a big fan of the mohawk. I really prefer more of the traditional look, but it's all good. I'm glad this character's getting justice. So let's watch this. Oh, yeah. Look at her up in the clouds. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. It really is. Now, you, you all are probably wondering, why am I not that excited? Well, I'm not that excited because we don't have near enough materials. Uh, we're not getting, we're not being able to farm near enough materials to do all these tier threes unless you're going to go out and start spending some serious money. Uh, right now, I still want to tier three Odin. And if you take a look at my resources, look at this. I still don't have enough of these essence of dimension look at this i need tons of these things and say i go out and buy a pack right well there's 16 or ccf gone then we're gonna need more ccf so netmarvel really i've mentioned this a few times in a few different videos they need to increase our resources increase the amount of time entries that we have in world boss at least give us 10 entries where we can receive rewards i think it's high time for it uh, we get, we have tons of these tier threes to level up. They threw out tons of native tier three, native tier twos that become tier threes in this game that require 1200, 1600 CCF. It's time that Marvel, you really need to bump up the resources. I'm not expecting, you know, to give us so much that we can just level up every single character in the matter of a, in the blink of an eye. But seriously, you know, people like me that play it every single day, log in every day, and it just takes absolutely forever. So we need more ways to farm resources. Otherwise, I would be way more excited because then I'd be like, oh, man, I'm going to tier three Storm because I would love to tier three her. I think Storm's freaking awesome, man. She's one of my favorite X-Men. And it's just I know I probably won't. And if I do, it's going to take me forever because I want to tier three Odin first because I prioritize ABX. And for a player like me, that's just kind of a the way it is, you know? And so it, it kind of sucks, to be perfectly honest. Like, I'm excited for her, but who knows? Who knows? Maybe by the time I get the enough uh, essence of a dimension and I see how strong she is, I might say the hell with Odin and tier three her. Who knows? Who knows? I never know what I'm going to do. I mean, I love Storm, so we will see. And, and the truth be told, I actually love Storm a lot more than I do Odin. I think Odin's awesome. He's the all-father. But Storm, for me, is a much more prominent character in the Marvel Universe, at least to me. Now, today, we're going to do something a little off the wall, kind of. And we're going to show some love to Gambit. He is a mutant, so I thought, why not? Since we got this little sneak peek from Storm, and I've already done game gameplay from Storm not too long ago, so I just didn't want to do the same thing. But we're going to just showcase Dazzler a little bit, and we're just going to use Dazzler really for what most people are going to use her for, and that is her support passive. Applies to mutant allies, ignore target dodge rate by 70%, which we will not be utilizing today, but it's really nice to know that she offers that, so when you go against characters like Corvus and Quicksilver, you're pretty much going to have enough dodge where you can use damage to supervillain or damage to superhero strikers. Or not damage to superhero, but you know all attack strikers. But she also gives this increased damage dealt to boss types by 65%. This works on all the world bosses. Works on GBR. Uh, it's terrific. Uh, this is a wonderful, wonderful passive. And the thing that's really nice about her is she has this third skill that has an endless heal as long as this thing's up. Plus, it offers an extra 35% attack as long as they're in the circle. 
and the extra crit rate by 35%. This just keeps refreshing and refreshing and refreshing. So it's absolutely wonderful. We're going to be using Weapon Hex because you all guessed it, because of our all defense down, this hex of 100%. The caveat to Weapon Hex is that our all defense down only starts off at 2%. However, with a character like Gambit, you have his all defense down that starts off at 30%. So he, three hits, he's already maxed out the all defense down. It's pretty freaking insane how good this team actually is. Uh, it's, it's really awesome because Gambit does lack a bit of sub five ability, even though he has a, you know, a couple good iframes, a long iframe on his five. He's got a bit of an iframe on his three. But with having in, you know, in, uh, infinite heals pretty much in that circle, it's it's pretty nice. However, you know, keeping in that circle, and not taking any damage, can be a little tricky. But we're gonna be doing the old switcheroo, switching our characters back and forth. Uh, as far as my build, my gambit has twenty thousand energy attack. He has max attack speed, thirty nine crit rate. This is gonna be maxed out from Dazzler's third skill and from his and from Gambit's fifth skill. He has max critical damage, max ignore defense, and max skill cooldown. And all we have as far as Uru's is five star Uru's. First and last gear 25. All of the stats are pretty much going to be maxed out. So there's really no need to put any Urus in here for this team up. We've already looked at the skills. They're all at six. He only has a stage six power of Angry Hawk set. And he has a CTP of energy. And this really is a great obelisk form because he does have chain hit damage in his tier two passive that gives him an extra 20% chain hit damage. Plus he has a guaranteed crit rate, which is really nice. And that chain hit damage is just going to add on to the chain hit damage that we have here. And of course, no uniform. And it really is bonkers what you can do with this guy. I'm going to go in here. We'll go against Call, And we'll try a stage 80. And jump in here. We'll use these strikers right here. Some damage to super villains and one damage to super villain with a debuff. That's going to help with the poison on the ground. So we take less damage. Now, when I was practicing this earlier, I noticed sometimes the all defense down would work, sometimes it wouldn't. It's it's really funky, actually. It's not as consistent as what we've done in the past. Uh, sometimes it works really well, sometimes it don't. We'll get our buff from Dazzler, then we'll hit that four, switch to Gambit, then we'll hit the five, and boom. And you can see, that's pretty good damage. Now, if you can do that every single time, you're gonna pump it out. Now, we gotta make sure we don't get caught in the time freeze there we go get out of there get out of there yeah, watch out switch to dazzler okay here we go oh, don't get time frozen don't get time frozen switch the weapon hex okay there's the cleanse we'll do it one more time And there we didn't get the all defense down. We didn't get anything. And that's what I mean. Sometimes it doesn't seem to want to work. You know, maybe I did it too early, but really the way it should work is you do the all defense down from weapon hex. And then once you go to gambit, you should fill that 100% uh, all defense down, down up really fast with gambit. There we go. Just like that. That's what I mean. Sometimes it works really well, sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of funky, actually. Come on, punk. Here we go. And this is a stage 80. Ooh, get out of there, get out of there. Ooh, watch out, watch out. Okay, we don't want to get caught in that. We're actually running a little bit behind. There we go. We're actually running about 10 seconds behind. We probably could make up the difference as long as we don't... As long as we get the all even sound every time afterwards. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Okay, whoa. 
Hey, watch out, watch out. Ooh. Run, 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 run. I mean, look at this. It works like a champ. Well, it doesn't work like a champ. But like I said, sometimes the all defense down doesn't want to work the way it should. But as you can see, most of the time it does. Come on, buddy. Get down here. Run, 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 run. Switch to Dazzler. <laughs> if Gambit gets hit, he will die. It doesn't take long for him. And the thing that's nice about Weapon Hex is she does have all that heal. Come on, girl. Come here. Run in here. Oh, crap. We don't want to go in that. Whoa. Get out of there. Get out of there. Actually, we're on pace to get the clear. We're actually... We might be able to do this. As long as I don't die. Whoa! Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, no, don't, 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 don't get hit. Don't get hit. Don't, don't, don't get hit now. We're going to let him run at us. Okay, run around, run around, run around, run around. Okay, we hit that five. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> I freaking died. <laughs> oh, well. What a bummer. So let me know how you're all feeling about storm getting her tier three and and let me know what kind of wackiness you've tried in world boss and let me know what you think about gambit capable of doing stage 80 with this team and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching y'all take care and have a good one